Hey, how's it going everyone? We're playing some more balloons. Today we're going to get to round 400. We're going to be doing this on the map logs on easy. So let's go ahead and start right away. How are we going to do this? Well, first thing we got to do is place some of the monkeys that are going to be turning into the paragons. You want to make sure to set those down real early, get those pop counts up as quick as you can. Along with that, all around the map, we're going to be building farms. That's pretty much a staple of any, you know, super long run. You need to get a few million because, you know, those things, the, especially the end towers, are very expensive. So, like I said, we can see all the Paragon Towers, you know, the Buccaneer, the Ninja, the Wizard, the Planes, everything. Place those down real early. When you upgrade your monkeys into Paragons, if you didn't know, their power level is decided by a few factors, mainly the amount of money that you put in. We're going to be putting in 150,000. Each monkey needs to have 16 million pop count across all of the one type of monkey. Yep, see right there? That's the 150 that I put in. Along with, you need to have a certain amount of upgrades. So you want to fill the map with extra of that monkey and just upgrade them a few times. So that way you can get the max paragon. So you can see here that I farmed up about 4 or 5 million up until around 180. Now I'm, wait I'm using all of that money to get all the paragons. Now, we're out of money. But we've still got the Paragons, and these Paragons will last me for a very long time. At least, I think, late 200s, maybe even early 300s. So, we're going to go ahead and try to gather another 4 or 5 million, which at that point, we're going to start playing the Sun Temples. We're also going to start uh, making the Vengeful Sun God. And build some of the better monkeys around the perimeter, perimeter to try to get as far as we can. So... Uh, some of the prerequisites of doing this, you need all the Paragons unlocked. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. But yeah, you need all the Paragons unlocked. You need all of most of the really good upgrades unlocked for most, most of the monkeys. All right, here we go. So as you can see, we're around early 300. I've got 7 million after I sold all my farms. So it's time to kind of build the final map. So you can see here that I'm building my first couple sun temples. Now, you might say... Um, I know my placement can be better okay that's one thing you know I, I know my own limitations I feel like there are still parts of the game that I need to master specifically placements of sun gods and maybe just placements overall but you could see here I think I do a decent job of doing it but hey there's always another goal in balloons right so today we're going for 400 next time we'll go for 450 and you know when we go for 450 I'll try to you know soften some of these edges stuff like that but yeah as you can see here we got the vengeful sun god to do that you need to sacrifice a certain amount of each monkey to the sun god i think thirty-five thousand worth also have the two super ninjas other skill trees unlocked around the map uh, google it if you need a tutorial but um yeah vengeful sun god along with sun temples and then we'll be placing some of the tier four and fives of the stronger towers so things like <clears throat> the uh man i'm forgetting names of things all of a sudden but essentially everything that's not like your basic monkey freeze tower uh even actually even mortars are actually kind of good i did place a couple of the high-end mortars now here's what we are also going to be doing up until i think 350 i tried not to use too many monkey powers but now that we're getting past 350 it's almost impossible to do it at least you know at my skill level here so we will be utilizing these robots to auto activate abilities this should carry us up until around 370 370 maybe 380 maybe like your very early 380 but after 380 my current setup starts to kind of fall off and at that point we will need to use a couple of monkey powers, specifically the one that boosts attack speed for 15 seconds and the monkeys that like basically pop everything on the screen. Those two are very good powers. Now, they cost money though. So if you try to utilize what I'm doing here, just have a little bit of money, like, you know, five, ten dollars set aside for some, you know, good old fashioned micro transactions. But yeah. Using the strategy that I'm using now, along with just a little bit of money, we can get ourselves to 400 lickety split. Now, this is the boring part, right? Uh, we, I'm at round 358. 
and I know on your screen it's going super fast. I've got it in time lapse. You know, in real life, this is very slow. My computer is an actual PowerPoint because of the amount of stuff that I have. So you can see a round is maybe going by every couple of seconds. In real life, every round is like maybe five to ten minutes. I think when I finally got done recording, I don't remember the exact time, but it was a solid maybe four or five hours. So it's four or five hours condensed into about a 10 minute video. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I think this is at currently 10,000% speed. So it's pretty quick, but it's nice because it, it looks kind of more fluid, but yeah, it's not fluid. It, it's a PowerPoint in real life, but it's okay. All right, we're back. We got 6 million coins, but honestly, we don't have much to use it on. But you can see now, we're getting to around 380. And this is where I start having trouble. You can see me go to the menu right there. Um, we're having trouble. I lost a couple of rounds, I do have to admit that. But that's also because I just wasn't paying attention. So from here on out, we're going to um, try to use some of those powers to get past 386 and beyond. These are really the hard rounds. I think once I got up to like 390 something, it actually became easier for some reason. I probably also overused a couple of these powers here and there, but uh, yeah, you can see I had a quick death right there. But hey, we're not going to talk about that, okay? Um, I, one thing I will admit, right? I am not a pro. I am just a person that loves this game and has a lot of fun doing this, but I'm not a pro. So if you have any tips, any advice, any tricks, uh, whatever advice, whatever, Leave it in the comments. Let me know. I will be trying to go for 450, but again, I have to maybe master a couple of things. Again, Sun God placement. Uh, what towers to use at the end, I have to optimize a little bit. Uh, things like that. But if there's any other tricks that you know of, feel free to place them in the comment. I'm very curious to hear. But yeah, you can see we're up to 398, 399. I think we're going to get up to 401, and at that point, I'm going to quit because I don't want to spend any more money. I could honestly probably get to 450 now, but I don't feel like taking out a loan just to get to round 450. So we're going to end here at 401. I think I'm going to die here in a minute. I think. Yeah, you can see. I think this is more, more lifelike to what it looks like right here. A little bit of a lag show. But I think we're going to get taken out in just a minute here. And my favorite part of every long run is after I die, looking at all the numbers. Okay, so we got 7 million pop count, over 20 billion damage, 17 million cash, 130 Moabs popped, abilities used almost 6,300, and total cash spent. With the Monkey Star always being that, you know, that Buccaneer Paragon. That thing is absolutely disgusting. So let's go ahead and take a look around. See how some of these pops are looking. Looks like some of the sun gods are like 170 million. Sniper monkeys, 20, 20 million on the super monkeys. Anything interesting. Monkey aces around 10. Not too bad. And this is one of the other important parts of these super long runs. Okay, ninja monkey with the 1 billion. I need to look around and see what monkeys worked and which ones didn't. You know what I mean? Because if there's something that doesn't have a high pop count, I shouldn't be wasting valuable real estate on the map for it. So it's always really good to study your after map stats. Take a look around. The Alchemist is an absolute monster, dude. Super Monkey Druid. See, this Druid's... Eh, okay, that's all right. Monkey Buccaneer with almost 5 billion pops. Nasty. The Monkey Sub did better than I thought it would. Not gonna lie. Even the small monkey buccaneers, the not the paragon ones, are doing four or five hundred million, which is crazy. I feel like we should should we try this on like a water map? I wonder if I can just get super far with you know a water map. Boomerang monkey. The only thing about those water maps is I don't think they go very far. Oh, also shout out the energizing totems. We did use a couple of those near the end after 390. So shout out energizing totems. Druid, 10 million. Spike factories are always all right heli pilots what else what else we got yeah definitely start of the show Ooh. yo this is 250 million on the mortar monkey okay that one's kind of goaded 
But all right, guys, that is round 400. Next up, 450. Leave advice, comments below. Love to see them. And I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.